It is currently 6 o'clock p.m. And I would like to report that I am quite tired. Got about six hours of sleep last night, or uh, I guess last morning. But I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'm gonna take a shower, take out the garbage, and then we can come back and get started with work. And while I was just trying to record this part of this video, I already found something that I'm going to have to try and fix today. So we'll just slap that on the list of things to do. All right, so about an hour later, we are back. And as you can probably see, there's a, there's a bit of an issue here. I was going to record the first part of this video with the bottle, but the eyes are just going stupid mode. So I got to go in here and I got to try to find out why they're doing this and how to fix it. Okay, testing, 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 testing. Was it really that easy? No, shot. Okay, I, I think... I made it kind of better, but as you can still see, it's, it's like, I don't know. It's not great. It still looks very wonky. Funny thing is, this is happening because I bought an eye tracker, which is supposed to make the eye tracking much more good. It's supposed to be way trackier, and it kind of, um, it's kind of doing the opposite. But now, if I disable said eye tracker, I, like, the, it doesn't freak out as much, and I feel like there's more mobility in the head, but then the eyes don't track as well with a lot of stuff. It also feels a lot more rigid, like, I, I move, the body moves up and down. It's, it's very robotic. Get an eye tracker, they said. It'll help your model track so much better. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. And then also glitch out too. They didn't tell me that part. Well, whatever. I don't think we need it today. So we are just going to get out of here. Welcome to my desktop. And before you say anything, I custom made all of this. So be nice to it. I currently have the Daifuku keycap set on my keyboard. So I wanted my desktop to match. And so I made all of this so that it would match. See, normally I might have to try and think about what kind of video I want to record record for the day, but I don't have to do that today since we're recording this one. Ah, crap. I forgot I got that. I usually never buy this thing from the teapot, but I decided, you know what? I might as well get it. And I, I don't think I'll be getting it again. Also, I lied. I think I will be using the model in this video because why not? So we are currently on my main account. So as always, we just got to do our daily commissions and then spend our resin. But what did I Achievement. Achieve? Me? What? Huh? Did they just add that or something? Because I don't even know what you have to do to get that. Now, we're probably going to be farming in the Severed Fates Artifact Domain. I know they're going to add it in the strong box, but I still just think it's the best thing to farm. And yes, I'm using Dia. I know she's not the best, and that's not just me basing it off what other people have said. That uh, is kind of my opinion as well. I've tried so hard to build her so that she can do something, and uh, I, I mean, she can kill Hilla Charles. So as long as I'm just doing domains or overworld exploration, she is fine to have on the team. If I'm trying to do something like Spiral abyss well maybe maybe not quite as much but i just have fun trying to make wacky builds work so like right now i'm trying to put her on a melt comp and it kind of works sometimes i mean the biggest reason why i have this team equipped right now is because i've been spending some time in the severed fates domain and trying to farm the domain with electro characters like raiden is not a fun time and kind of on that same note i gotta say burst support ganyu is actually really fun to use as long as you give her enough er you can get her burst up pretty consistently there's one set of daily commissions completed so now it is time to delve back into the severed fates domain run number one is not looking too good run number two eight you know what that's the uh, <laughs> i was gonna say it's okay it's the, it's not that good i think just multiple days of not getting a single keepable piece have made the copium levels rise quite a bit but surely run number three will give us a crit piece double crit actually with er um just joking i uh, no wait that's the wrong set okay hey, good times and our last run grants us potentially something decent but potentially okay now ah, there's good time good times now you see i probably should go do this event on my main account because we've only done it on swords only i think i mean i really should do like all of these events which uh, maybe maybe we'll try out one of these but for right now I'm gonna go make myself some gamer subs. In case you're curious of what flavor of gamer subs I just made, it was the red raspberry. My personal favorite. So now, as per usual, I'm not gonna read anything. I'm just going to enter. I'm gonna pick some characters and we see how it goes. Oh, I have to change my party, huh? I mean, I could. Or I could just stick with the same characters. Oh, wait, there's no time limit either. Okay, well, this just became super easy for us. You know, honestly, I don't 
don't think I need the buffs from using different teams. I think I could just run it with one team only. Oh, I see why you might want to use a different team each time. You didn't realize they actually locked some of the rewards behind that. Okay, let me, uh, let me build up some characters really quick. Oh, wait, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to do mono hydro as long as, okay, there's no hydro, I mean, hydro sandwich, but that doesn't count. We're just going to hit him with mono hydro because surely this couldn't ever go poorly this is actually kind of fun i'm not gonna lie this is this is actually kind of fun you just get a lot of hydro application and then because of coke me we can't die either. oh yeah that was great i love that now this team this one's gonna be crazy i introduced to you the i don't really know what this is team watch it watch this crazy looming damage boom i literally could not read any of those numbers because there were so many of them now i'm just gonna speed through the rest of this event so i will rejoin you guys after that's done that wasn't too bad. And we get a free acquaint fate for doing all of that. <gasps> oh, the shop reset too? Well, don't mind me. I'm just gonna do a couple wishes on the standard banner here. My prediction is one purple. And it's going to be, um... Oh, I gotta think. Uh, Rosaria Constellation, even though she's already C6. Oh, I was, I was gonna say I was close. How was I close? It's just a character. I don't know if my Ningguang is already C6 on this account. I don't think so so we'll go feed that to her in a second and i was right it was one purple and it was ningguang just like i predicted oh she was ready c6 well i think this account is mostly done for now yes of course i could go through and do events on here but i don't think we need to right now i mean i mean look at this there's still 11 days we got time which means it's time to move on to the next account. And now here we are on the swords only account, which of course means more daily commissions. So now we just need to decide what we want to spend our resin on. And I think I just found what we need to farm. I'm going to dump all of my resin into ley lines to try to get some level up materials. And then we're probably also going to do the same event that we just did on my main since it doesn't take too long. I'm also not sure if we have enough characters built up to do that with all different characters. I, I think we might, but I suppose we'll find out soon enough. Ley lines are complete, so it's time to once again speed through some dialogue and then hop back into this domain is it bad that i don't actually remember the teams that i use on this account like what team do i usually run out hate them on because i thought it was this one but i i don't know if it is oh no that's right we were doing nilu bloom oh well i just forgot to put nilu on the nilu bloom team so that's always a good time i think i have found a team that i actually find to be pretty fun and it is this team right here basically just a freeze team but I don't know, something about having Kaya on this team instead of Ayaka just makes it feel better, at least in my opinion. I will say the damage of it right now isn't great, but that's just because of the builds on my characters. It just feels fun to use. Well, there we go. Another event completed on another account. So with all of our resin spent in the event completed, I think this account's good for the day as well. Time to swap the spells only. Now, once again, we get to do the very exciting task of completing four more days daily commissions. I went ahead and took care of the dailies and now we're going to start using the resin and I think we're going to still farm some severed fates. I would like at least one good or even just decent set of severed fates to have on the account. So if we're lucky, we'll get one good piece today. Oh, I forgot we actually do have four condensed resin from another day. So we have that plus the 160 from today. So there's a chance we might get something i am going to dump all of this resin oh i'll keep that uh, er would have been very nice on it but double crit i will never complain about but yeah i will just keep farming this and show you if we get anything decent and then at the end we'll try and power them up if i even have the materials to do that oh look cryo damage bonus that'd be really good for our cryo cat oh all <laughs> right we don't have a cryo catalyst yet so the only artifact that i want to try and power up right now is this one because i really don't have much to feed into these if it rolls a flat defense i just stop powering it up right now if it rolls into crit i will keep powering it up it is that simple okay moving on really Really, really I, I was like, you know what? I'll give it another try. Maybe it'll be good. No, 
It's absolutely garbage. Why you gotta do this to me, game? The, the one, I, even EM would have been like, okay, copium, but you just die. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. Now, something else we need to do on this account is collect some of the pearls because Kokomi still needs to be max ascended. So it would be very smart of me to open up the interactive map, but I am often much too lazy to do that. And you know what? While we're here, we might as well farm some specters because we're gonna need those as well. With that out of the way, we need to speak with this man one last time. Time. Again, span through all the dialogue, and then I'll just try to speedrun the event on this account as well. Okay, another account completely done with that event. And since Scaramouche's banner is active right now, I will put a couple wishes into this. I don't actually expect to get Scaramouche, though that'd be very nice if we did. And it would be kind of funny because then in the next spells only video, people will be like, what? when did you get that? Why was that not in the video? I'll be like, you gotta find the video. But I won't get to do that because we're not getting him. <gasps> unless, unless by some chance we actually, I, I probably should save this to be honest. Yeah, I I'll save those. I'll save those. But these, these will not be saved. These will be spent because I'm feeling a little, feeling a little gold coming soon. I don't know about you, but one of these, I, I don't know. Oh, no, don't X out. It's just about that time, I think. It is golden hour. It is time for Scaramouche to come home. I said nothing. There's still a chance. Okay, there's still a chance. There's still 11 days left on the banner. And I still have a couple ways that we can get a few extra primos. But we did it. The necessary farming is done on all of the Genshin accounts. So now we need to go to Star Rail. And I'm going to be disabling the model because uh, I've found over time it is still incredibly glitchy. I don't know why. Look at it. If I sit up right now, what is this? What is happening? Why? Why, why does it do this? It's like every time I use it, it somehow becomes worse. Not to mention it is turning my room, which is already insanely hot, into even, even, even more of a, a sauna. Wow. We are now on the air edition only account in Star Rail and the room is finally starting to cool down a bit. It looks like I'm going to have to spend a lot more time trying to fix that model. So just like with Genshin, we got to go through, do our events on each account and also spend some Trailblaze power, which for some reason, I always want to say Trailblaze powder. And that just sounds like it would be an illicit substance within this world. Now, as per usual on this account, we are going to be farming for some keys because because since we are only using erudition characters, literally everybody needs them, so I'm always running out. But on the bright side, it makes it very easy to know what I need to farm. I never have to worry about accidentally farming too much in this domain because I will always need more of them. I'm out of keys already because I leveled up a few more traces. Oh, that's right. It's double uh, the, the ropes and the, the other thing, whatever those things are called. It's double those. So I should probably try to farm them. We're going to try World 3 Difficulty 2, which I have never actually beat on this account because it's my first time ever trying it. Okay, so the first attempt didn't go well, but I blame the countering trotter that we encountered that I definitely should have just ran away from because we didn't have the healing buff yet, but you know, you live and you learn. But I'm going right back in because I feel like we can beat this. So you remember what I said about feeling like we could in fact beat this i i would like to retract that statement perhaps if we get really good rng with the buffs that we're given then it's you know there's a chance so this time it's gonna be a little different we're gonna go in same team of course but we're going to pick destruction this time and surely this will easily allow us to win i chose the path of destruction and i picked every destruction buff we got which was one but i think that that's enough farming in the simulated universe on this account oh these reset in this game too well i will be uh, i will be taking all of this thank you very much and i usually save these kinds of polls for the videos on that specific account but just for you guys i'll go ahead and spend all the wishes i have on this standard banner i'm it's stellar warp i'm always going to refer to it as the standard banner genshin has just conditioned me to do as such we should see one force start in these polls and again that's pretty much all i'm expecting and there it is a character we can't use on the account
unless we get lucky and we get a second four star. Maybe a light cone, maybe an Eidolon for one of our characters. Maybe, oh, I'm out of wishes. Okay, never mind. I think that is good enough for this account. So on to the final account. So what do we got to do on this account? Uh, we got to finish up this event, which we just finished on Eridition. We need to spend our resin. And then I also need to go in the simulated universe again because it did reset a couple days ago and I don't think I've touched it yet. Now, I'm going to say it so that you guys don't have to. Yes, this is my main account. And yes, the damage on this account is very low. I've been farming pretty much everything except for relics. So for now, our hardest hitting skill is just our copium. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ember shop? We, uh, we get these on this account as well. How many times did I use the word account in the last, like, two minutes? They're actually, I, I don't want to know. Don't tell me. That is the one good thing about having so many accounts. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I said it again. Like this five star right here. <laughs> I always got to say it. Okay. Okay. I apologize for being greedy game. Just please a four star. Please any, maybe not any. Sushang. That's starts with an S. You're close. Oh, it's E4. Interesting. You know, I, I need to go look at something real quick. Just need to take a quick little trip over here. Come on inside this room. Check the data bank. Let's go characters. So there are two characters, two four stars, I should say, that we are missing, which I didn't even know that we were missing him on this account. But then Sushang, not Sushang. I keep saying Sushang. It's Sushang. I think I'm pretty sure it is. She's the four star that I want most. And somehow she has avoided me on every single banner, even when she has raid up. So as we see here, she's a raid up and I do have some wishes. I might be able to get her. However, there's a, there's a certain character that you encounter. If you play the newest quest, he, uh, he, he kind of looks like Don Hang. So that's all I'm going to say if you haven't already played it. I'm sure most people have already played it at this point, but just in case, I don't want to spoil anyone. And let me just say, I think he might end up being my favorite character in this whole game. So the second I finished that story quest, I stopped pulling on this account because I want to save everything for his banner. I figure eventually I should get a Sushang just by pulling, but obviously those five stars can only be acquired on their rate up banners. And it'd be kind of cool if we could also maybe get one of his Eidolons or even signature light cone. All right, it is time for me to spend the Trailblaze power, not powder. And so I'm going to try to farm some relics. We'll see how that goes. And in other words, that basically means it's time for me to sit back and do nothing. I regret to inform myself that we did not get any keepable relics. And I don't mean like my standards are too high to keep any of the ones that we got. I mean like they are, they're bad. Like main stat defense percent and then all flat substats kind of bad. I'm just going to do one quick run of the simulated universe and then I think we are all set on this account. Well, after a successful run, it did take a little bit, but doesn't matter because we still won. We have now completed everything that we needed to complete on all of our accounts for the day. So now almost seven hours after waking up, I could start to work on videos or whatever else I need to get done. Now this video in particular is a bit strange because the video that I would need to work on is the one that I'm already making. Though hopefully this gives you a good idea as to why I don't start new accounts at this point. So now the weird thing is normally when I have a video recorded like this one, I would go through and start editing it. But the thing is with this specific video, I'm showing you what I do in a day. So I would have to show you me editing it, but I can't edit it if I'm still recording it, if that makes any sense. Although at this point it's almost 1am. So it's time for me to go eat something again. <laughs> I have finished consuming substance and am ready to get back to work. It's not, it's not what it looks like. Right, guys, guys, it is, it's not what it looks like. I, I can explain. Okay. I can't explain that the time just disappeared. All right. I thought I would just watch one episode of an anime and I, I don't know what happened. It's, it's crazy. So I, um, uh, yeah, this, you know what? It, it's kind of par for the course. So it's, it, I mean, not like I do that often or anything, obviously I, I would never, but yeah, I, I guess it's time to, uh, to start editing and probably not finish it until tomorrow when I wake up, but that's just, uh, that's just the way it goes.